Hi folks, I'm just going to do a wee uh, demonstration video here on the operation of your new van here. So what we're looking at here first is your control panel. So let's see, get a wee look here. So really what you have here, you have your main on and off switch here for bringing the switch in the van on and off, which is this one. And you can see it kills all the, the wee panel. So you can switch that on there and it beeps and it shows you the time here. Uh, these other buttons here, then you have your pump. And this is your light switch for switching on the lights inside. You hear the pump going there. Now these two buttons don't seem to do anything at all. They're auxiliaries. They're like spare switches. And then this is for your fan, your extractor fan at your hub. If you want to operate that, you need to switch that on there. And then over this side here are your level indicators. You have your fresh water. It's shown there 80%. And then your battery then, it shows you your... That's your leisure battery. You can see the wee leisure battery here and it shows the wee camper. That's 13.2. And the next one's your amps. That's just showing that we're drawing 0.5 of an amp. And the next one is your engine battery. And it's showing it's 12.6. And it's just the, the wee picture of the, the front of the camper. So you just scroll along them and they just go through all the wee settings. And up here at the top then it's just your, your, your clock, you know. So that's just your, uh, that's your control panel. So the next thing we're going to look at here is your fridge and as you see you have two knobs now we're working on our this is our main control knob here on this side and at the moment here it's off and you have four different settings on it now the first setting is on, on gas you just flip it around to that and you can if you have a solid light that means it's lit and if it, if it flashes it means your gas needs to be switched on it's probably off of the bottle but if it stays lit that's it that's the gas on the next one is your mains and we have a red light here now because we're not plugged in but that, that'll go yellow when you're plugged in and that's your that's your mains the next one is your 12 volt off your engine for when you're traveling now that's red now as well because the engine's not going and then the last one then is automatic so when you put an automatic it'll choose whatever one is available so at the moment now it's gone straight on to gas but if we're plugged in it'll go on to the the mains and if you start the engine, it'll go on to the, the wee battery here. So if you leave it in auto, it'll just pick whatever's going. So if you leave the campsite, plug out the van, it'll go on to the battery when you're driving. And if you if you switch off the engine, it'll go back on to gas. And if you're plugged in, it'll go on to the mains. So the wee auto feature is handy. And then this button here, what it actually does, it heats up. I'll just show you here. Um, It heat, heats up this wee bar here, long here, to stop condensation. So if you have the fridge on and it's warm inside the van, you can switch on that wee heater. And that just heats up this wee bar here, long this wee panel here, to stop water com no, com coming onto that. So that's what that wee switch is for. And then on this side here, you have your temperature control. You can see you can switch it up and down. And it goes from minimum to maximum. And then on your locks then, you have the... That's unlocked, and that's it locked down on this side. Just that just pushes over. So that's the way that operates. That goes over and back. So the main thing you have to watch is that you don't have it like that when you close it. You always have to have it open, leave, leave the gap open here when you when you close your fridge door. So that's really all there is to the fridge. Now on the on these wee catches here. You can see there's two there's there's two two wee slots here. You can put it onto the first slot if you want to leave the door slightly open. That just latches onto the wee thing. So that's just a wee feature for 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 venting your fridge door. So the next thing we're going to look at here is your heating control. Now these controls here are for heating the water and for heating the van. Now we'll start off with the this this bottom one here. This is what you use to choose what you're going to heat the van with. Now, what you can do is you can heat it with gas on its own, where it's at at the moment. And you have two electrical elements for these two here. That's one and that's two. This is on your mains. So if we want 900 watts, we go to that one. And if we, go, we want 1800 watts, we go to the top one. So that's that's your electricity. That's half, half electricity 
down the middle is gas and then down the bottom is a mixture of both. You can actually heat the heater or heat the water on gas and half electric and gas and the two elements. So you have one element, two elements of electricity and gas and the top here you have electricity on its own on one or two and then in the middle here you just have gas on its own. So the van isn't plugged in, the only thing you can use is, is the gas and on the campsite if you're plugged in you can actually just go straight onto the mains here and run everything on mains. Now on the mains it'll be a bit slower than what it is on gas. So if you're heating the van on electric it's not going to be as noisy but it will heat the van eventually but it's just a bit slower than the gas. The gas is always a lot faster. So we'll just put that back onto gas and I'll show you this is your top control. So when this is at zero here everything is actually off. So it doesn't matter what you do down here, if this is at zero there's nothing happening. Now we can see here, we're working on this wee nub here, that's at zero so it's off. And to heat the van we'll bring it down to the first one. And you can see now we have a green light. The green light means that the, the, the heater's working properly and it's coming on. And then you have your temperature inside the van which is this inner knob here. And you can pick from one to nine. Now generally in around five or six is sufficient to heat the van. And what will happen is once the van heats up it'll control itself, it'll knock itself on and off. Now down the bottom then you have heating the van and heating the water. So that's your blow heating and your hot water at the same time. And you can see now we brought on the yellow light. That yellow light comes on any time you're heating water. And what will actually happen is once it gets to 60 degrees it'll go off. So down here is heating the van and heating the van and the water. And then in the summer time if you don't want to heat the van, you just want to heat the water on its own. You have either 40 which is here and we have the yellow light back on again or you have 60. Now the idea of the two temperatures is 40 is really good enough for doing your dishes and washing your hands and stuff in sinks and you'll see the yellow light will go out which will show you that it's got to the 40 degrees and if you want to have a shower heat it up to 40 first and let the yellow light go out and about 10 minutes before you want to have the shower put it up to 60 and the, the boiler then will heat the water to 60 degrees and that'll, you can mix that with cold and that'll give you plenty of hot water for your shower. Now the yellow light will go out when it gets to 60 or when it gets to 40, whatever setting you have it at. But it, that's just showing you you're heating the water and the green light means that everything's okay. Now there is a red light that will come on in there if your gas isn't switched on. The heater fails to light, it'll bring up a red light here. And what you'll do then is just switch that off, go and switch on your gas and then come back in here and try it. So that's your heating controls for heating the van on electric or gas. Now we're looking we're just looking here at your hob, I'll give you a quick rundown on it. There's a little ignition switch here, give you your spark. And you see with that lit there, just turn your knob here and hold in your button and that'll light up. So that's fairly straightforward. And then down on down here at the bottom then you have your your oven and grill. Now the the way that works is when that's at zero, when that's at the, the two wee dots are lined up, it's off. And to light your grill, bring it around to this side of the grill. And you can see, I don't know if you can see in there, that's the grill lit up there now. And then if you want the oven, you just go the other way, which is this way here. And hold it in, and you can see the oven's lit up there now. And then to switch that off, just bring it back to zero. So that's just your oven and grill. Now what we're going to look at here is your fresh water drain valve. And where it's situated is just, if you see that seat there, that's the, the, the dinette seat at the table. And you'll have to remove the cushions and just go in here. And you see the little valve down there. And at the moment it's closed. And to open it, just put it in line with the pipe. And there's a wee, there's a wee cover that goes over top of it. There's a wee cover. And that's it covered up. And you can slide your, slide your boards back over and put your cushions back on. So that's the valve for draining the fresh water tank. So we're just looking here at your new TV. And you can see there we have a picture. Now, you can see the picture's a little bit pixelated there. And you can adjust your aerial, which is on here. And how you do that, you just loosen that and you can push your aerial up and down until you get a good picture. But on the digital, you should just get a good picture straight away. So you can see there now just by adjusting there a little bit we have a proper picture. 
Now every time you move the move the van or drive somewhere else you're going to have to retune your TV and how you do that is the AQT button which is this one just press that and you can see there where it's coming up on the screen and what you do then is just keep pressing the OK button so what you do is you press the AQT button and then the OK button and you can see there it'll just it'll go the whole way up here and it'll start finding all the channels so that's all you have to do to retune your TV and that'll have to be done every time you move the van and that's really all there is to your telly so we'll just on the remote control here we'll just switch it off and on your telly in behind here there's a little button just in case you ever press it it's on here it's the main on and off button and you can see the little red light coming on and off so that's just sort of in there at the side of the telly there's a wee button so we can just switch that off for you there now so that's just it's just it's hidden in, in the back of the telly there it's a bit hard to find and your telly just slides back in again and to release it just put, press that little lever over this way here and your, your telly releases and pulls pulls out again so that's your TV now we're just in your bathroom here now just to give you you probably know what these toilets anyway but how this toilet operates you need your pump on and you press this button here to flush and when, you, when your cassettes fall up you'll get a red light on here and everything else is fairly straightforward you just have your, your taps here with your hot and cold settings and your skylights and stuff like that so we're just moving outside the van here and you can see a, little, a couple of little compartments here this one here is for your barbecue point so you put your little adapter in here onto your hose and switch it on and off here and that comes off your main gas and what they have here as well they have an outside 12 volt and a, an aerial connection as well that's probably for watching TV outside so that's what that's for and we're moving along here underneath the van and that's your drain valve at the moment you can see that just opens and closes See the water coming out there, and then we'll close it again. So that's your that's your wastewater release valve for all your sinks and showers and stuff like that. So we're just moving in now to your the boot in the in the back of the van. We have our leisure battery here in the little box, and up here we have our 12 volt fuses. Now all these fuses here are just ordinary car fuses, and then for all your lights and pumps and stuff inside. And over here you have your mains trap which is inside here, it's just the same as what you have at home and up the way it's it's, 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 uh, it's closed or it's not trapped and as, as it, just take this wee cover off, if it trips it goes down like that and just reset it and it goes up the way so that's just your your mains and that, what that is there is a charging box and always make sure that their button is pressed in the way that's your charger there for charging the leisure battery and down here at the bottom you have an outside shower just for and a wee hose and that goes in there and you have your two wee not your two wee uh wee valves here for opening and closing and they have a double socket here in the boot as well and your awning poles here in the boot as well and your carpet set so we're just moving on, over onto your gas bottles now you can see there on the regulator there's a little green button now every time you open your gas, which is, you'll open your gas on the top of the bottle here. So I'm just closing it here now. So to open it, you open it anti-clockwise. And you press the green button, just for about five seconds. Just press that green button in, and that lets the gas flow into the van. So every time you open the gas, you're going to have to press that little green button. And we have a spanner here for you, and that loosens the nut here in your bottle and that nut loosens clockwise so it's a left hand thread so when, when, we're, when we're loosening this nut we have to loosen it actually that way we have to loosen it clockwise just if you're not aware of that and we're running there on propane so now we're around on the left hand side of the van and we're just looking at your fresh waterfall here and this is the exhaust for the heater uh, that's your mains plug-in and then down here in this little compartment here the wee door opens up you can see the heater 
And what this is here now we're looking at is the, the frost valve for the heater, which is the, this little red button here. Now at the moment it's up, which is the closed position, and that's the way it should be for normal operation of your water inside the van. Now at any stage you get frost at 2 degrees, that'll drop down like that. And you can see there we're just dropping water out of the bottom of the van. And to correct that, that pulls up the way. So we'll just pull that back up and that's it closed. So if you want to manually open the valve to winterize the van, you push that down and make sure your pump's off inside and open all your taps in between hot and cold. And all the water inside the van and from the heater itself here will drain out through this valve. <coughs> now if you get very severe frost, we'd recommend that you blow into the taps as well once you have this valve closed and all the taps open between hot and cold just to push out an extra wee bit of water that's in around the pipes. So when you come back to the van, this, this tank will be empty and what you'll do is you'll come back after the, 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 the winter time and you'll pull that up you'll switch on your pump on the hot setting on your taps then you'll open your, your taps on the hot setting and let the water run out through your taps and it'll, it'll push all the air out of the heater and through your taps and once you have free flow in your taps, that's you back working again So any time that you have any pressure problems on your taps that when you open your tap you're getting air and uh, you know you're not not getting the proper flow always come out and check that now this can drop in the early part of the year any time during the night uh, you know when the van's at home or whatever it can just drop down itself so any time you have water problems always come out and just check that and that should be up now if it's very cold and that that'll not stay up because it's too cold what you can do is switch on your heating and there's two little wires that go onto this and there's a re retaining coil inside it so when you put on your heating that'll stay up first time so there's no need to put cable ties or pegs or anything on, onto this valve if it won't stay up go in and switch on your heating and this will stay up first time so that's just a wee tip for you so moving into your cab here now I'll just show your, your, your bonnet pull is inside the door here on the side of the dash you're going to have to have the door open to get at that and underneath the passenger seat, that's your jack and wheel brace in a wee box there and the swivels for your seats are then just pull that handle there and the seat swivels around um, your engine battery is underneath this cover on the floor so if you want to jump start the van I'll just show you what to do so we're just in your engine compartment here now and I was on to you about how you jump start the van if you look here there's a little positive connection here for your jump leads so you put your positive on here and you put your negative onto the frame of the engine onto, onto one of these metal pieces of the engine and that'll that'll jump start your van so we'll just close that back up again and in here then you have your your oil cap your dipstick your window wash is in here that's your power steering fluid your brake fluid and that's just your engine coolant water here so that's really all there is actually in the engine compartment so we're just looking at your dash display here now and you can see you have a reverse camera here now the camera you'll have to switch it on here just start the van here you'll have to switch it on here with this little button here and you can see there that's the back of the van there now that's your bike, bike rack at the back so that's how that operates and the only other thing this wee bit, you have your air con, your air conditioning button is this one. Now what you have to do, you have to have the fan on and you can hear that's your air con. So if you want your air con to operate, you press that button and put this to cold and have your fan on here. And your stereo just clips in and out. You can see there that's it clipped in and that's it on there now. And when you're not using the van, just press the button there and clip out the front of the screen and that'll save the stereo from draining the battery the only other thing you have here is your you have a cruise control here and how that operates is you just turn that on when you're driving and give that one shot up the way here and your cruise control will come on and then you can speed the van up and down here with this and there's a resume button here on the side of it so to recap on that you just switch that on and hit that one shot up and you'll start cruising so that's your cruise control and that'll show up that little, that little green light here in the corner when your cruise control's on so if I switch that off here you'll see that see it's disappeared now so that's really all there is to your dashboard you have storage compartments in here 
you have another wee one up here at the top and little map holders and stuff so so what I was telling you about draining the van this is our taps here in the kitchen that's cold and that's hot so if we bring in the tap just in between the hot and cold when we're draining the van and just open it like that and make sure the pump's off and open that rail valve and that'll drain your van and make sure to do all your taps and showers in the in the in the toilet compartment as well so the last thing I'm going to show you is just a couple of wee bits that's your your rear skylight and to, let's see now to open that we just press in this button and we pull our, pull our handle down now you can see the handle will actually go in here and there's a wee lock here so and there's one on this side as well So what we can do is put our handle up on there and press down our lock and that'll see that'll stop your, your skylight from flying open in the wind. So that's it actually locked in position there now. Just a wee feature you mightn't know about. And we'll pull them back up again, pull our skylight and clip it back in again. So the last wee thing we're looking at here, it's a bit dark in here, it's just your solar panel controller. Now that just works away on its own, there's no reason to be going near it or pressing buttons on it or anything but that just works away on its own, that's just your regulator for your solar panel and that's just inside the wardrobe here, so you have the solar panel on it as well which is a great thing, so I hope this video has been a bit helpful to you and uh, if you have any questions you can always ring us